So I just came back from my trip with some nice goodies and all will be reviewed at some point. But I wanted to first do a two toy review of Masterpiece Tiger Tracks and G2 Sideswipe. I'm gonna start with Yellow Boy here as it's just Sideswipe but yellow. Of course that is a simplification because if you go into detail, you can actually see that his legs actually have more color compared to this guy. Red shins, bits of blue on the feet, just enough to not be just a simple change from red to yellow. That is nice. Other small changes are, as you can see with the chest, no Autobot symbol, and mascara on the headlights, as you can see right here. And that's sort of it. Nothing else has been altered on the base bot himself, but I don't really think you need to change much. What did have more change, however, was his accessories, with his shoulder mounted missiles being partially black, and the power drivers are completely new. Actually, that's the old one right over there. It's sort of like the tips of jackhammers now, or some other construction tool. Although, to be fair, that can also be one. And I don't know construction tools. But if I'm being honest, this guy really is just a quick recolor to do the obligatory diagram reference to squeeze more profit out of this mode. G2 side swipe on the other hand is just that but scratch our diagram and write G2. Still, this guy is awesome and a lot more effort has been done to him to make him a bit more different. Like the simple inverting of sideswipe colors that somehow give us a figure that exudes a completely different aura. That being sound more older and mature compared to his younger, brash self. Well, as mature as someone of his character can be. I think one of the reasons why he has a more mature feel is due to the more prominent black. I don't really know how to explain it though, but the more black makes him feel more like a older veteran an older veteran of the war which G2 Sideswipe is but what also sells that feeling is this kick-ass new face like we here like look at that it perfectly captures the art style of the G2 Marvel combi design which side note makes him look older as you can see the few comic panels I see of this side swipe make me feel like he could be a part of the Wreckers. Seems like a good fit. This figure could also just be an entirely new character as the different color schemes, spiked wheels, and the new weapons, which I'll get to later, is enough to call him by an alternate name. Well, to me at least. And since we are on the topic of weapons, he has a sword! Wow! Yeah, I can just make him hold it like right here. Doesn't plug in, just sort of grasp it, but yeah, that's cool. He doesn't have a good place to store it though, just slide it in this slot right here and it should hold, I guess. Still, this goes. Still, this does give him a really nice silhouette. And these guns, I can't describe why I love them. It could be due to their bulk compared to his contemporaries. It could be the mag on one and the red scope on the other. Maybe the bit more extra detail like these wires on the side. I don't know, but I just love these things. Also, these spike wheels are also accessories. Just plug them in here and you're good. Oh yeah, and since we are on the topic of swords, I sort of find it interesting that three of my transfer purchases from the trip have swords. Isn't that interesting? This guy's masterpiece box was also wrapped with this accessory kit by Dr. Wu. And it gives you ammo straps. And a big ass rifle. No, not rifle, bazooka. And grenades. Isn't that interesting? I won't put them on though as. I feel like they're not necessary for that feel. You can also make him G2 toy accurate as you can see on the box with the included stickers. If you can show it. Yeah, it's 
Trust me, that's the one over there, the one in the middle. Anyway. If you watched my review on side swipe over here, you would have already watched the articulation segment. But just a brief recap, it's what you expect. Ball jointed head, competent arms, a waist swivel and legs that could benefit from modern engineering. But is alright for the time. Transformation of these two have no changes to them, but what else would you change from being honest? Tiger tracks here is just side swipe but um, yellow, giving me the head can that the Autobot equivalent of the Seekers are these guys. The WFC Siege anime did use that idea. To summarize, he's competent. If you like a yellow Countach, this can be for you. But my favorite of the three has to be G2 Sideswipe, as they switched out the black windows for these simultaneous bright and dark red ones. I really like this color scheme for cars, but not just like, love it. There is sort of a reason that I have three versions of car bots with this color scheme. And I think the reason is because the dark car body just make these demonic windows pop so hard. It's one of the few reasons why I like clear plastic. It allows you to have this effect. It's just beautiful. Now, G2, Sideswipe and Tiger Trap were more expensive than Sideswipe. This is 55, this is 80. This is 100, but this one has the accessory pack, so let's just say 80 to 90. But they were more expensive because, unlike this one who has a gammy wheel, it, yeah, this one that doesn't like to roll, these two have all four wheels rolling very, very well. So there's always an upside to the figures being a bit more expensive. With that said, this is a mode with a high recommendation. Choose the version you like, there are like 4 versions of these things, this, 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 and red alert, and hunt it down for a good price. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.